station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippy wonders. Activate Blippy station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippy. Spiderweb looks amazing! You're right, Debo! Spiderwebs do have such artistic designs! I wonder, how do spiders make their webs? Yes! Let's go find a spider to ask! I'm gonna need wings and spider legs! Wings, spider legs, confirmed! Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Bonjour! I'm Spencer! You're just in time to watch me make my latest artistic creation! Hey! It's me, Blippi! Are you about to make a web? I am! It's going to be my greatest masterpiece! The webbiest web of all time! <gasps> Want to help? Yeah! I really want to learn how spiders make their webs. Time to create! Debo, I'll be right back. <gasps> Blippi, you can be my holder and tester. My web will be a circle-shaped design with some triangles in the middle. What kind of string do you use to make your web? I use silk strands that I make myself and they shoot out of my stomach. <laughs> To a spider or bug, these strands are as strong as steel! That is so cool! Next, the circles to complete my masterpiece! Can you hold this strand in place, Blippi? Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! It is a circle shape! Ah, perfect! Grab that strand, Blippi, to swing out for a look! Whoa! Amazing! Wait! Is that a picture of me in your web? It is you! My masterpiece! Now you can test it! Bounce against it! See if it holds! Whee! Whoa! The sticky part is for catching bugs to eat! <laughs> Your web is beautiful and useful, Spencer. And you answer my question. How do spiders make their webs? They use super strong and sticky silk strands to create a web with a cool circular design. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for showing us how you make a perfect web, Spencer. Bye-bye. <laughs> Au revoir. To the Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Whoa! What is that? <laughs> You're right, Debo. I think he's setting up for Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. Hmm, I wonder, how do you celebrate Dia de los Muertos? <laughs> Great idea! We'll go ask him and find out! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And this is Debo! <laughs> oh, hi! I'm Paco! Paco! What are you making here? I'm making an ofrenda! It's part of a Mexican celebration where we remember the family members who are no longer with us. But I have a problem. What's wrong? I don't remember anything about my great abuela Rosa. I need to know what things she liked so I can make a proper ofrenda for her. Great idea, Debo. We can go back in time and meet your great abuela Rosa. Just follow us. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Going back in time! Whoa, where are we? Welcome to Mexico! Whoa! Great 
ir, Abuela Rosa? Yes? Hi, it's me, Paco, your great-grandson from the future. <gasps> Hola, mijo. And who are your friends? This is Blippi and Debo. Hello. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Hola. <laughs> what are you doing here? Don't tell me you don't know how to make a proper ofrenda for me. Well... Nope, he doesn't. <laughs> bueno, I will show you all my favorite things. Come on! The first thing huh? I love is riding. Fast! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! You're really fast! My second favorite thing is oranges. They are so juicy and sweet! Yeah. <gasps> oh no! We can make orange juice! <laughs> Follow me! Okay, my third favorite thing is... Musica! I love music! Well then, you must dance! Thank you, Blippi, for helping me learn about my great Abuela Rosa. You're welcome, Paco. And I got the answer to my question. <laughs> to celebrate Dia de los Muertos, you can make an ofrenda with the things that truly represent the spirit of our loved ones. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Paco. Bye, Blippi. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Driving at night is so much fun. And we have the streets all to ourselves. Huh? Whoa, what was that? It's pretty late for animals to be out. Huh? You're right, Debo. That's definitely an animal. Hmm, I wonder. Why do some animals come out at night? I'm gonna need a grabber arm. Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find that nighttime animal. Ah! Oh. Hi, my name is Rita the Raccoon. What's yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and that's Debo. We were wondering why some animals, like you, are out at night. See, I'm nocturnal. That means that everything you like to do in the daytime, I like to do at nighttime. So cool. Hey, do you think this thing can help me find some food? Of course. I think the Blippi Mobile could do almost anything. Whoa, look at her go. Debo, follow that raccoon. Woo! Ha ha! Come on, keep up! Rita, you aren't supposed to use the Blippi Mobile without permission. That's stealing. Sorry! Us raccoons will do almost anything for food. <laughs> I'm freezing, Rita. It's so cold at night. Aren't you cold too? Me? No way! I've got this big fur coat that helps me keep nice and warm all night. <laughs> I wish I had a big coat or something to keep me warm. <laughs> Whoa! Look out! It's okay, Blippi! Look! Oh, thanks, Rita. That's another great thing about being nocturnal. A lot of the animals that want to chase me are asleep. I like it better with less unfriendly predators around. 
Something smells good. Let's go! To the Blippy Mobile. This time, I'll drive. That's it! In there! That looks complicated, Rita. How are you going to open it? No problem. Raccoons are great problem solvers, as long as there's food involved. What an amazing adventure! And I got the answer to my question. Why do some animals come out at night? Some animals like to come out at night because there is less competition for food, there are fewer predators and people around, and because it's cooler at night. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Goodbye, Blippi! I'm off to greener dumpsters! Bye-bye, Rita! To the Blippi Station! It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Oh, look at that cute little squirrel digging a hole! Did you see her bury that nut? So true, Debo. We do need to know the answer. I wonder, why do squirrels bury their nuts? I'm gonna need the excavator arm and wings. Excavator arm, wings, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Look, Debo! This is an acorn. It's a type of nut, and squirrels love them. Here, squirrely, squirrely. We have an acorn over here. Nuts, nuts, I need more nuts. I can't get enough nuts. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is my friend Debo. We found a nut for you. Nut? Oh, thanks for the acorn, Blippi. My name is Sparky. I'm kinda a nut expert. Then you have to tell us, Sparky. Why do squirrels bury their nuts? What? You don't bury your nuts? Huh? <gasps> Come with me. No time to waste. We need nuts, 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 and more nuts. <sighs> this is the garden, my favorite place to collect and bury things. You know, I can bury 25 things an hour. That's a lot of burying. How do you remember where you put it all? I keep everything up here in the old furry head. My memory is amazing. You think you can remember like I can? <laughs> you want to try it? We sure do. <laughs> OK, now watch. OK, do you remember where I just buried all those acorns? Of course we do. Easy peasy. Not an acorn. This is harder than I thought. <laughs> Hello, huh? yummy walnut. <gasps> we can't find any acorns. That's right, because I take special care to hide my nuts so only I can find them. That's how I keep them safe. And then I'll dig them up in the winter when I'm hungry and food is harder to find. So cool. And I found the answer to my question. Why do squirrels bury their nuts? Squirrels bury their nuts in other things so they can eat them later and have enough food during the winter. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> Bye, Sparky. Bye-bye. <laughs> Keep digging. Activate Blippi Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi. It's a garbage truck. I can see it and <laughs> smell it too. <laughs> wow, Tabs, even you think it's stinky. And you're a robot. Wait, where's that buzzing sound coming from? Oh, flies. Hey, those flies just flew into the garbage truck. Hmm. I wonder why do flies love garbage? Good idea, Tabs. 
We can go into the garbage truck to find out the answer. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why flies love garbage. Shrinking down! Hold your breath, Tabs. We're going in. I'm in the garbage truck. Welcome! <laughs> I'm Horace the Fly. Looks like your first time here. Hmm? Hi, Horace. It's me, Blippy. This is my first visit to a garbage truck. <laughs> Little stinky, huh? <gasps> Not for me. I love smells. Follow me. I'll show you around. This place is like my playground. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsies. Sorry about that. Hey, Horace. Why do flies love garbage? Because it's delicious and garbage makes me fly. We've got stinky beans, moldy cheese, greasy pizza boxes, and even leftover mystery mush! <laughs> Sorry, must have been the beans. I could give you a ride to the nearest garden or fly restaurant. Horace! Where are you? <laughs> Everything's coming up! Garbage! Oh, was that cake? Oh, no, that was not cake. Still good though, got a dash and eat all the trash. Horace has more energy now. Aha, which means I think I have the answer to why flies like garbage. It's because they love the smell and they find food there. That's so silly. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Yes, sir, bit me. For me, a garbage truck is a 24 seven all I can eat restaurant. Woohoo! Go, Horace! Thanks! Cheers, Blippi! Activate Blippi Station! It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Whoa! Tabs! Look at this amazing rainforest! You're right! I bet all kinds of interesting animals are in there. I wonder, what kind of animals live in a rainforest? I'm gonna need spider legs and the grabber arm. Spider leg, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow! This place is so green! They must get a lot of rain here. Yes, we do, actually. Hey! It's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. Hello, I'm Bai, the giant panda bear. Glad to meet you. We want to know what kind of animals live in a rainforest. Can you show us around? Yes, okay, but I am meeting my sister for lunch and I'm always late, so I'd like to be there first for once. We won't be long. Super! Let's go see what we can find. Yeah! Thanks, bye. I do get a little hungry before lunch, so could you help me collect some bamboo on the way? Just for a snack. <laughs> sure! Whoa! This bamboo is as tall as a house! The juiciest shoots are at the top! Would you mind? Whoa! 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 Lovely! Whoa, look! There's a monkey! He's a golden monkey! Hi, Fred! <laughs> Sorry, Fred. All pandas love bamboo. It's all we ever eat, actually. Not even ice cream? Not even ice cream! Unless it was bamboo flavor. <laughs> Could you get me a little more bamboo? All this chewing makes me terribly hungry. Sure thing! There's a nice stalk just there. Whoa, little red bugs. Oh, it's Reese and Fiona. They're red bamboo weevils. Hi, buggies. Oh, no, I'm going to be late again. Sorry, we need to go. 
Oh, not again. I'm sorry, but I was helping my new friends Blippi and Tabs. Hello. <coughs> Could I possibly share some of your bamboo, please? Thanks for the tour, Bye. You really helped me answer my question. What kind of animals live in the rainforest? Golden monkeys, red beetles, and giant panda bears who love eating bamboo. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. I think it's time for a snack of our own. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye, bye. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! The rain will be gone soon, Tabs? Great! Since I just finished my fun painting. Can you guess what it is? Wow, Tabs, exactly right. It is a penguin holding a cup of tea while rollerblading through a jungle. So many colors. <gasps> Whoa, a rainbow, so many colors. I wonder, how does a rainbow get its colors? Great idea, Tabs. We can fly up and ask the rainbow and find out. But first, I'm gonna need wings. Wing confirmed. Let's go explore. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out how a rainbow gets its colors. Guys and gals, attention please! The Big Blue Sky is proud to present nature's greatest influencer, I'm Bowie the Rainbow! Whoa! Hey, it's me, Blippi! I'm a big fan, Bowie. I know all your colors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm very proud of my colors. <laughs> Let me show them off one by one. I don't. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Wonderful job, Blippi. You know, today's a big day. We're doing a double rainbow showstopper. Oh, you must be part of my performance. Really? I'd be honored, but um, I don't know how you get all your colors. Could you show me? Of course, super fan Blippi. First, let's check out this puffy cloud called a cumulus cloud. Ooh, it looks like it just rained too, which is perfect. That means there are lots of water droplets in the air. Wow, this cloud has so many teeny drops of water. Hashtag true. Okay, next step, position the cloud so the sunlight shines true to water droplets, like this. Now, when the light goes true to water, it bends or refracts and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Voila. That is awesome. I think I have the answer to my question. How does a rainbow get all its different colors? It's when... The sunlight shines through water. It bends the light and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Upload answer tabs. A five, six, seven, eight. Wow! Don't forget to like and subscribe. How you doing? All right, see you later, Flippy. Whoa, look, a bird flying at night. Huh, it's a bat. Hmm, I wonder, how do bats fly in the dark? Good idea, Debo. Let's take flight in the night. I'm going to need wings and spider legs. Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Whoa! Whose lights are those? Hey! It's me, Blippi! I put my bright headlights on to find you! Oh, hey, Blippi! I'm Matt the Bat! I was just heading out to fly my favorite flying course. You want to join me? Sure! I was wondering how bats fly in the dark! I can show you! 
But one thing, Blippi, no headlights. Got it. Let's go. Whoa, it's so dark. Twigs, Crunch! Look out! Whoa! Blippi, didn't you hear that tree? No, I didn't. Wait, did you say hear the tree? Yeah, I can hear everything in my way. Heads up, rocks! Whoa! How do you do that? Bats have a special skill called echolocation. I make sounds and they bounce off objects and echo so I can tell where the objects are and how far away I am from them. Really, Debo? You have echolocation too because you're a robot dog? <laughs> well, let's use it. Whoa! Let's fly! Whoa! 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 Yeah! Whee! <sighs> nice flying, guys. Thanks! And I have the answer to my question. How do bats fly in the dark? Echolocation! Bats make high-pitched sounds that bounce off objects and echo, so they can safely hear where they're at in the dark. Upload answer, Debo. Oh, look, it's bedtime. Fun flying with you, Blippi and Debo. Uh, uh, uh. You sleep upside down? Whoa! Bats are amazing. Bye-bye, Matt the Bat. Activate Blippi Station! It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! You're right, Debo. This is a kangaroo crossing. And we're in Australia. So, I guess you never know when a kangaroo might... Whoa! Bounce in! Wow! What a spectacular jump! Hmm, I wonder, how high can a kangaroo jump? Great idea! We'll go ask that kangaroo. I'm gonna need frog legs for this adventure. Frog legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! We're in the outback, so let's go find a kangaroo! Oh, hi there! I'm Rooney! What brings you to these parts in your cool looking car? Hi, Rooney! It's me, Blippi! And this is Debo! We wanted to see how high a kangaroo can jump! Pleasure to meet ya! Well, I can jump as high as your mobile here, but I can jump higher! Whoa! Rooney's hopping pretty high and super fast! Ah, you're pretty fast yourself! You up for a little race, Blippi? Sounds fun! Alright! Let's race around that big sandstone rock down there! We call it Uluru, or Ayers Rock. It's the heart of Australia. Whoa, so cool. And the first bag here wins. You're on, Rooney. By the way, there may be a fence or two in the way. Good to know. the best jumper we've ever seen! And now I have the answer to my question. How high can a kangaroo jump? Kangaroos can jump up to 10 feet off the ground. Upload answer, Debo. That was fun, Blippi. Ooh, gotta cool down. That's why I'm licking my arm. It's a kangaroo thing. <laughs> Bye! 
Bye bye. Ooh. Don't worry, Debo. Those aren't real monsters. They're trick or treaters. Cause it's Halloween. Of course, Debo. I can teach you how to trick or treat. Did somebody say trick or treat? Whoa! Oh, hi, Rita. This is my friend Debo. Hi, Debo. I'm Rita the raccoon, and Halloween is my favorite holiday. Because of all the costumes? No, silly. All the free food. Ha! Well, you're just in time because Debo and I are about to go trick or treating. Wait, Debo! We still need a few things before we go! The first thing we'll need are costumes! Great idea! We'll be ghosts! <laughs> so fun! Even ghosts need to be able to see! There we go! Ooh. <laughs> I'm a blippy ghost! Whoa! <laughs> We've got a karate master trick or treating with us. Opa! And now a chef. <laughs> so cool. Boo! Ah! Ah! I'll just stick with a mask. Our costumes are ready. Time for the next step: containers to hold our treats. Cool jack-o'-lantern pails! Hey, yeah! Yeah! Trash bag! Ooh! My first treat! Now it's time to hit the streets! It's getting dark! A glowing ghost! Fun! Okay! <laughs> Be sure to pick a house! that is decorated and lit up for Halloween. Then knock on the door and say, Trick or treat! Come on, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Trick, Trick or, or treat! treat! <laughs> Thank you, happy Halloween. What? Shoot! Remember, you can only go to each house one time and just take one piece of candy. Trick or treat! Ha <laughs> 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 Jackpot! That'll last you till next Halloween! Whoa! Those scare me every time! Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Look, Look what, what I, I got! got. Thanks for helping me teach Debo how to trick or treat, Rita. And remember, Debo, to trick or treat, you need a costume and a bag or pail for treats. Then walk door to door, stop at the lit and decorated houses, say trick or treat to get goodies in return. And remember, you always need an adult. <laughs> yeah. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for a sweet night, Rita. <laughs> Happy Halloween! <laughs>a really long ladder. Hmm, I wonder, what's it like to be a fire truck? Great idea! We can catch up with that fire truck and find out. Well, hi there, I'm Frankie the fire truck. Hey, it's me Blippi, and this is Tabs. Great to meet you, Frankie. We were wondering what it's like to be a fire truck. It's a big job. You always have to be ready to help. And I am. <laughs> they call me a first responder, which means I'm the first one to arrive in any emergency. That's great, Frankie. Hey, 
Will you show Tabs your really long ladder? Sure. I also have a lot of other special equipment. Check it out. I have many ladders and hoses. So cool. And also fire extinguishers and first aid kits. I do. And hammers and cutters to open stuck doors. Ooh. You also have nets? Oh, yeah. I have nets in case someone in trouble needs to jump to safety. I don't only put out fires. I also rescue people and animals. Sounds like a cat needs help. It's in a tree. Come on. <laughs> Flippy, you go up and get the kitten down. I'm ready. Hey, kitty. I'm here to help. I'll pick you up and carry you down. <sighs> I couldn't get to her. There's no giving up, Flippy. We must rescue her. Good idea, Tab. We can use the net. <laughs> yeah. Kitty, this way. Frankie, we got a code 1171 on Main Street. There's a fire. Please hurry. I'm on it. Time to go. My siren can get loud, but it helps people to know to get out of my way. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Don't worry, Blippi. I got this. You put that fire out so quickly. <laughs> the fire's flaring up again. I'm gonna need the water hose attachment. Water hose confirmed. Yeah! We did it! The fire is out! And I have the answer to my question. What's it like to be a fire truck? Fire trucks are first responders to fires and other emergencies. They carry lots of equipment like hoses, ladders, and nets. They also have a siren to alert people that they're coming. Upload answer tabs. Bye, Frankie. Thanks for letting us help out. Bye, Blippi. Bye, tabs. Stay safe. Devo, look how the water is carrying the frisbee far away towards that island. Hmm, I wonder why don't islands float away? You're right. Let's go ask the island and find out. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and duck feet. Helicopter blades, duck feet confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, hello up there. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Evo. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm Ivan. Ivan, why don't you float away? Hmm, I think it has something to do with my bottom. Oh, I know. Let's look underwater where my bottom is to find out. Oh, wait. I can't see down there. You're right, Debo. It would be great if you sucked up the water so we could see the bottom better. I can't wait to see what's down there. Okay, Debo. Drink up. <laughs> wow! These colorful coral reefs are so beautiful. We can see so much now. And Ivan, you're way bigger than I thought. Thanks. I'm even bigger. You're only at my belly button now, see? Oh, Debo, can you drink up more water so we can see the bottom? Are you okay, Debo? You have so 
many amazing things on you. Hey, wait, are we at the bottom now? No, you have reached my knees. Still a bit of a way to go. Do you think you've got one more big gold left in you, Devo? We're so close to being able to see the bottom. Woohoo! I knew you did. You made it, Flippy! <laughs> You're at my feet! Really? How can you be sure? Because <laughs> it tickles when you walk around! <laughs> Ivan! You're attached to the bottom of the sea! You're like a mountain! <laughs> oh! Demo! Oh no! Well, that was fun. And now I have the answer to my question. Why don't islands float away? Islands don't float away because they are mountains attached to the seafloor. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for all your help, Ivan. You rock. Hope to see you again. Anytime. I'm here to stay. Bye bye, Blippi. Huh? Uh, you! Thanks. F for you. Huh? Something is making me sneeze. Hmm. I wonder why do people sneeze? Yes. It's time to find the nearest nose and see what happens in there. I'm gonna need rocket boosters, a grabber arm, and spider legs. Rocket booster, grabber arm, spider legs confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Woo Into a nose we go! It's like a cave in here! Hello! Hey, it's me, Flippy. Who are you? My name's Petunia, and I'm a piece of pollen. I may be small, but I can make big things happen. <laughs> like a sneeze? You got it. When I'm around people, I bother them. <laughs> and I especially like bothering noses. Come on, bounce with me. Oh, don't worry, it's a nose. It's not going to bite. Plus, it's fun. <laughs> So, this will make someone sneeze? This is just the start, since a sniff is coming! Watch out! That wasn't that bad! <laughs> it looks like we're in a jungle. This is all hair! It's here to keep pollen like me, plus other things like dust particles, out of your nose! <laughs> well, it won't work! Oh, it's fun to be irritating. Will this cause a sneeze? <laughs> I hope so. Oh, now a tissue's coming for us. Run! Oh, right. They're really bothering this nose now. <laughs> Tickle more. Is a sneeze coming? It is. <laughs> na, 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 na. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Oh no! Boogers! We did it! Yes, and I have the answer to my question. Why do people sneeze? People sneeze when tiny things like pollen get inside their nose and irritate it. Upload answer, Debo. Okay, see ya, Blippi! Bye-bye, Petunia. There, all finished. Carve away, Tabs. That's very nice. Whoa! <laughs> Whoopsie. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and that's <laughs> Tabs. 
I'm Peter. <sighs> that was a big sigh, Peter. Is something wrong? Yeah, I'm a little sad. Why are you sad? It's Halloween. I think a spider would love Halloween. Oh, yeah, it's my favorite holiday. But no one ever invites me to their parties because I'm too scary. That's a great idea, Tabs. We'll throw Peter a Halloween party and invite all of our Halloweeny friends to meet him. Really? For me? <laughs> Thank you. I wonder, how do you throw the best Halloween party? Oh, I know, I know. I'm a Halloween expert. First, we need spooky decorations to set the mood. And I know spooky. You know what else we need? Halloween snacks for everyone. How about worms? Gummy worms. Oh, don't forget the scary cupcakes. And a finishing spooky touch. Halloween fruit punch. Now we just need Halloween costumes. I'm going as a pirate. Yar! I'm a construction worker. Nice avocado costume tabs. Dressing up is so much fun. Ooh, our guests. Right on time. <laughs> oh, goody. Oh, goody. Wait a minute. Just one guest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> When ghosts get really eerie and pumpkins very cheery, witches do entrance and black cats start to dance. Spiders spin their webs and skeletons lose their heads. It's the scariest time you've ever seen. Must be Halloween. My very first Halloween party. <laughs> and I got to make so many new friends. And now I have the answer to my question. How do you throw the best Halloween party? To throw the best Halloween party, you need fun decorations, yummy snacks and treats, a good costume, and great friends. Upload answer tabs. Thanks so much for a fun party, Blippi. You're welcome, Peter. Woo! <laughs> Those ducks floating in that pond. Exactly, Debo. There's got to be a reason why ducks don't sink. Hmm, I wonder, how do ducks float? Good idea. Let's go ask that one. I'm gonna need duck feet and wings. Duck feet, wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Here, ducky ducky! Here, little ducky! Whoa! Big ducky! Hang on, Debo! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo! Well, hello there, Blippi and Debo! I'm Declan. Welcome to the pond! You here for a swim? Well, we're actually here because we really want to know how you float. I never really thought about it. Oh, uh, us ducks do paddle with our feet a lot. Want to take a look? Good idea. I'll check them out. Hmm, we can't get close enough. 
You're right, we have our binoculars. Whoa! What do you think? You sure have webbed feet. Debo is right, you stopped paddling and you're still floating. Must not be my feet that make me float. Oh, I have an idea. Floating may have something to do with our feathers. Yo, Terry, let Blippi have a look under your feathers. It's a feather tunnel in here. And the feathers are kind of oily. See again, we make a special oil that keeps our feathers waterproof. Waterproof feathers! Whoa, is that a bubble? Bubbles? What do they do? It's air! Air bubbles are floating in the feathers like a balloon. Oh, so the bubbles help us ducks float. Hey, Terry, we have air bubbles floating in our feathers. It's true. And now I have the answer to my question. How do ducks float? Duck feathers trap air bubbles and air floats in water. So, ducks float. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Declan. Bye bye Keep floating. Bye, Blippi. Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Whoa! Ah, uh, more junk! Oh, oh, look! A shark's tooth! Whoa, Debo! There sure are a lot! Hmm, I wonder, how many teeth does a shark have? <laughs> Great idea, Debo! We can go into the ocean and find out. I'm gonna need duck feet, a grabber arm, and a propeller. Duck feet, grabber arm, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Whoa! Oh! Hi there! I'm Dr. Paula the Pilot Fish. I'm a shark dentist. Hey! It's me, Blippi! And this is Debo. We're here to learn how many teeth a shark has. Well, you swam into the right corner of the ocean. I'm about to visit my friend and patient, Larry. Hello. I think I have a loose tooth. We'll find out. We pilot fish help keep the shark's mouth clean in exchange for protection from fish who might chase us. Wow. What a great friendship. Whoop. Whoa. Someone called the tooth fairy. Let's take a look. Open wide, Larry. As you can see, there's not just one row of teeth. There's row after row after row. <laughs> Go ahead and close now, buddy. Uh, maybe keep your mouth open just a little bit, Larry. Whoa, another tooth on the loose. That's why Larry's got all these rows of teeth. They're waiting in line for when the front teeth fall out whoop, and need to be replaced. Happens all the time. That's kind of like us humans when we're kids. Let's count. One, two, three, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight. I sure wish sharks could floss. Two hundred and thirteen! Oh, that sure is a lot of teeth to take care of. You're right. There can be as many as three hundred teeth in a shark's mouth at any given time. And get this. Through his whole life, Larry here can grow and lose as many as 50,000 teeth. That's a huge number. <laughs> All done, Larry. Woohoo! Choo! Wee! <laughs> Bless you! And I 
I got the answer to my question. How many teeth does a shark have? Sharks have several rows of teeth, can have as many as 300 teeth at one time, and 50,000 over the course of their lives! Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for teaching us all about teeth, Dr. Paula. Bye, Blippi! Don't forget the floss! <laughs> Look at all the blinking fireflies! One, two, three! One, two, three! Oh, I love counting! Don't you, Debo? <laughs> hey, get back here, you silly! What you got there, Debo? Hmm, I wonder, why do fireflies light up? I'm gonna need wings! Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Look at all those different flashing patterns! Maybe it's a counting game! One, two, three! One, two, three! Whoa! <laughs> Whoops! Huh? Hey! It's me, Blippi! I was wondering, why do fireflies light up? Hey! I'm Felicia! And if there's one thing you gotta know about us fireflies, it's that we are all about that blink! One, two, three! One, two, three! <laughs> You again? <laughs> Just try and catch me this time. Debo! <laughs> I like your style, Debo. <laughs> I've never seen moves like that. One, two, three. One, two, three. When fireflies blink, it's because they like another firefly style. And with style like that, I just can't stop. Everybody, stop! Oh, no! Not today, froggy boy! Felicia saves the day. Ah, works every time. Fireflies also light up when there is danger around. Oh, like a warning signal to predators to stay away? Yep. Nope, not my style. Not bad, but nah. Hey, Blippi, will you help me find a firefly with a blinking style like mine? You mean like a counting game? Yeah. Do you remember my flash pattern? One, two, three. One, two, three. That's it! We found your match! Now that's my style. <laughs> what a great adventure! And I got the answer to my question. Why do fireflies light up? Fireflies light up to warn predators to stay away and to help them find other fireflies with the same blinking style. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for your help, Blippi! Bye, Felicia! One, two, three! One, two, three! Activate Blippi Station! It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Wow! That's a pretty tall mountain. I'm sure there are way taller mountains, Tabs. Hmm, I wonder, what's the tallest mountain in the world? Great idea, Tabs. We'll go to the Himalayas and find out. I'm gonna need wings and the grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station.
The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find the tallest mountain in the world. Woohoo! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're looking for the tallest mountain. I'm climbing it right now. Hi, I'm Betty the Yeti. Yeti. I was just headed to the top. That's where the best snow is. <laughs> Nothing worse than old snow. <laughs> Can I tag along? I want to see what it's like on top of the tallest mountain. Of course, but get ready. This mountain is super tall. We're up so high, and it's much colder up here. Thanks, Tabs. I love hot cocoa. Whoa! That was a close one. Hey, it's the mountaintop. Yeah, we made it. Oh, whoa, it's so windy up here. I got you, Blippi. So what is the name of this mountain? <laughs> it's Tamalangma. Oh, you call it Mount Everest. You're right, Tabs. I have the answer to my question. What's the tallest mountain in the world? It's Mount Everest. It's 29,035 feet tall. Upload answer tabs. And the snow up here is delicious. <laughs> snow burps. <laughs> Have a good snow snack. Bye, Betty the Yeti. Bye.